Hey y'all, for the first meal tonight, we're gonna be making an easy meal in the crock pot. It's just chicken drumsticks. So I have a little bowl and I'm adding a tablespoon of paprika. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of garlic salt. And then I'm going to uh, mix all this up really well together and we're gonna use this as a rub uh, basically to season our chicken with. Okay, y'all, so now I am just taking the seasonings that we mixed up and I'm just kind of sprinkling it on top of the drumsticks and I'm going to rub it in to kind of um, like a rub, I guess. Just rub it on the chicken as good as I can. And I never cook chicken drumsticks and I just thought that I would make them. I uh, came across this recipe on Pinterest, which I will have it uh, down below in the description box in case you're wanting to check it out but that's what I'm gonna do I'm just getting this all ready so that we can put it in the crock pot okay y'all so now I have a cup of barbecue sauce and I'm just pouring it over the chicken and I am going to try to rub it on the chicken like I'm flipping it over and everything just to try to get it coated well and um, once we get all the barbecue sauce on the chicken uh, really well then we're gonna cover it up and cook it on low for about four to six hours until your chicken is tender. Um, you can cook it on high if you want. Uh, I'm not really sure how long because it didn't say. But, um, oh, I also sprayed the inside of my crock pot with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray just to be on the safe side. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna cover it, like I said, and cook it on low for four to six hours. Hey y'all, I ended up um, sorry, I ended up kind of, um, I can't even think. Okay, I turned this up to high, and then I took the chicken that was on the bottom and moved it to the top. I think it's just about done. Um, now, we're not going to do this because we don't want to turn our oven on, but if you want to crisp up the skin, put it in your oven under broil. Like, broil it, and that way it'll crisp up your skin. But we're just gonna eat it like it is. And then over here, I just made a can of green beans and corn. I'm just gonna make some instant brown gravy. And then I'm boiling some water for this family size buttery homestyle potatoes. So that's gonna be our supper for tonight. Oh, we'll start with Peyton. Tell me if you like the food or not. I think it would have been better if I could have put it in the oven and crisp up the skin, but that's okay. We didn't want to heat up the house. What about you, Bryce? It's good. He's, right. he's been out in the heat all day, right? Band camp. I'm tired. He's tired. Courtney. I like it. It's good. Good. There's a bone. Well, it's, There's a bone it's, tri a bone. it's chicken legs. It's going to have a bone. It's like a little bone. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. Our chicken out there have those kind of legs. <laughs> You'll be eating our chickens out there. Okay, Adrian. How do you like it? I said don't show my face. Oh, whatever. I'm Adrian, here. you always have your face shown. Do you like it, though? Well, Zach, if you don't want to show your face, you can just tell me. I won't have to show you. Don't, don't show me. Okay. Face. Are you okay with the food? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bri uh, Adrian's friend's here, but I'm not going to show him because he don't want to be shown. So, anyways. It's pretty good. Easy, quick. I recommend it. Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making something I'm throwing together. Um, my husband and his family, they like to make what's called a disco, where you take different meats and seasonings and you cook it all together and then you can eat it like in a burrito, you can eat it, I guess, just plain with beans and rice, however you want to eat it. So I'm planning to put bacon, some chicken breast, and some hamburger meat together. I'm also going to cut up some onions, probably some bell peppers. I think I have um, maybe one or two jalapeno peppers. I'm going to look and see. If so, I'm going to cut that up too. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and cook up some bacon to begin with. And then we'll take that out. And I'm going to use that grease probably to cook some of the other stuff. So, yeah, this is just kind of thrown together. Um, I think, I don't know if it's like a Mexican type thing. Uh, or what, but I just know my husband's family uh, makes this a lot. Okay, y'all, I got distracted and forgot to turn on the camera. So I decided not to use the chicken breast. So we finished up the bacon. I went ahead and took it out. And now I have a, a couple of bell peppers that came from our garden. Um, I have some onion 
that I had already chopped up. It was in the freezer. And I had one small bell pepper. We also, I'm not, I'm sorry, one small jalapeno pepper. And then I have two pounds of ground beef. It's a little bit frozen still. I have seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and some cumin. I'm also going to add in another seasoning. I'll show that to you when I get to it. But for now, I'm just going to be browning up this meat and cooking these vegetables. Okay, we're going to also add in, I'm going to start out with one package of this Saison Goya and add it in here. And I may end up adding another one because usually one isn't enough. Actually, I'm going to get another one, I think. This is a Mexican seasoning. to let this cook. Okay y'all now I'm gonna add in there's not a lot of bacon but we're gonna just add it in there. Let it kind of cook in there. Well it's already cooked but you know mix it in with everything. And then I'm gonna heat up some tortillas so we can wrap this up. I just tasted it. It tastes good. So basically I'm just gonna let this cook. Just kind of help get the flavors in while Courtney's setting the table. Yep. And my little helper. And I'll start heating tortillas while this is, let's have this on low now, so get all that in there. And in case you're wondering the way that I'm heating up the tortillas is I just have a frying pan. I don't even have anything in there, no cooking spray or anything. They get all, I have it on about medium to medium high and I just kind of let it warm up on each side. Sometimes it'll kind of get a little bit of a bubble. Um, it'll toast up. And then I have a towel over to the side that I will put the tortillas in between so that it, the moisture and everything in there from the heat keeps them soft. So that's what I was doing there. Okay, y'all got that done. Over here, tortillas warmed up. I put out some pecani sauce, some cheese, and my family likes mayonnaise. And there it is, and I'll let you know what we think. Hi. Right. Hey, how, how are you? I'm good, how are it you? smells like oranges. He was helping uh, grease the truck. Did yeah. you use it? Gre did you use orange cleaner for your hands? It was a towel. Those wipes? Yeah. It was a white towel. Yeah. Okay, y'all, I wanted to show y'all. So I put a little bit of mayonnaise, and then I put the meat and the cheese. That's all I did. And it's going to be, what's it going to be? The locos. I'll have. Larkin. Bussin. Bussin. You were just bussin. saying that. <laughs> uh, yeah, bussin, bussin. My husband will be in here in a minute. Have you took a bite yet? Let's see. It's gonna be guys. So good. I always thought yeah. larapin was a made up word. It's a real word. You mm -hmm. looked it up, I have. Have oh, you already took a bite? Yeah. It's really okay. Good. I'll come back in a minute for actual really? reaction. Okay, now we're gonna do actual reactions. Tell me, Adrian. I'm being good. You good? Okay, honey, what about you? Daddy makes it. Yeah, he says that my husband makes it better, which he does add some things. I didn't know what else he added, I forgot. But he usually adds what? Sometimes rotel tomato or juice tomato or juice just to give it a little more some some, I guess. V8. Okay. V eight, yes. That's good. Good. You like it? Mm hmm Courtney went back for seconds. So it's good. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to get me another it's a one. A lot of protein. Good, good, good. <laughs> Hey y'all, tonight we're going to be making a Mississippi pot roast. I know a lot of people make these, but that's what we're going to have tonight. So I have a package of the, I don't know how you say it, all juice gravy. And we're going to sprinkle that on top. And actually y'all, I cut up my roast uh, just so maybe it would cook faster because I forgot about it. And so I'm starting it at 10 o'clock in the morning when I meant to start it earlier. So I'm thinking maybe since it's in pieces, it will cook better and then um i need a package of ranch seasoning which i just have the containers so i'm trying to see how much okay according to siri two tablespoons equals about a package so we're gonna put two tablespoons
and this is so easy to make. And then we need a stick of butter, which I'm just gonna place it right on top. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut it just so it will go faster. Let me, let me get my knife. Okay, I'm just cutting it into little chunks. And then we're gonna add about six to eight of these pepperoni chinis. I'm just using the whole ones. I always take these out at the end because we just don't really ever eat the peppers themselves. So let me get a fork and start putting some in. I bought a new jar because I forgot that I had some in there, so. I just like to kind of place them around in there. Four. I'm going to go ahead and open the other jar and add two more. So I have eight of them in there. We'll add this other small one right there. And then since I have this juice, I'm just going to pour a tiny bit of it in there too. Not much, just a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to cover this and cook it. Let's see how long I'm going to cook it. It says to cook on low for eight hours. And I'm actually going to pour just a little bit more because, I don't know. Low. Eight hours should be ready a little after six. So, I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, y'all, I got it done. I'm going to, I turned it on high for the last 30 minutes. I'm going to take these peppers out. We always do that. And then I just made some easy suddenly salad, pasta salad. And then we're going to have it with some sweet Hawaiian rolls. His mouth is you can good. ask me. me go okay. Ahead. Um, it's good, but it's fatty. But I know it was. Good. This meat was pretty fatty. But y'all just complaining. It's good, right? Rice likes eating fat, though. He's weird. He doesn't mind the fat, right? Okay, Adrian. Adrian. He's getting more, so I'm assuming that means it's good. I don't know. He doesn't want answers. He's just sing and murmur the whole time. Are you gonna time. sing your answer to us? Is it good? <laughs> okay, honey, was it good to you? Yay! And I'm still eating mine, but it was good. So easy. He's still chewing because he had a mouthful. 